Hi everyone, welcome to your hot mess yoga class. I've got another 30 minute video coming at you today. Uh, it will not be like the other one, see above. This one is not going to have cardio or squats, just a nice vinyasa flow. If you have two yoga blocks, awesome. If you don't have two yoga blocks, don't worry, we can make it work. All right, see you guys on your mat. Coming to Sukhasana, also known as easy seat or crisscross applesauce, depending on what generation you're from. Either way, take a seat, anchor down into your sits bones and begin to create length all the way up through your spine. Even though this is only a 30 minute class, you're still taking this time to really invest into your yoga practice. So whether it's five minutes, hour, two hours, what have you, so long as you are committed to what you're doing, you are doing your yoga work. So take a deep breath in, let it go. Do that as many times as you need until you are ready to constrict your throat, create the tension of ujjayi breath, and let's enjoy a 30 minute practice together. Begin to open your eyes. Bring your hands onto the mat in front of you and start to cross your left knee behind your right knee for cow face legs. Separate your feet out so that you can take a seat between your heels. Now, if you just saw that and went, no, you can stay in Sukhasana. Either way, lower your forehead down towards the floor. So that might be that your forehead rests on your knees, a block, double up your hands and use them as a pillow or even just having your hands onto the floor to support your head hanging heavy. Either way, root down into your sits bones, let your shoulders drop from your ears, take a moment to get back into your breath. Begin to lift your head back up, place your hands back onto the floor, rocket transition, take the opposite crisscross of your legs. This also counts for my friends in Sukhasana. Begin to lower your forehead back down. I chose to hold on to my feet this day, but again, you could bring your arms out in front of you or use your hands like a pillow for your forehead. Notice if there are little differences on this side. And there's no judgment about noticing these differences, just really taking the time to actually learn about your body. The more we invest, in gaining knowledge about the body, the more likely the chances are of having a lifelong practice. Lift your head back up, swing your legs around behind you and come into a tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists and inhale cow, lower your belly, gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale cat, curl your spine in tight. Press down into your shins, inhale, cow, stretch and lift up. Exhale, cat, hollow out your belly. Now begin to flow at your own pace for your cat cow. If you need any other gentle, very simple movements like rolling out your neck, swinging out your hips a little bit, go ahead and pepper those in, but keep it pretty basic. We've got a couple other things that we need to work up to while we are just integrating into our bodies. Find your tabletop, inhale, lift your right arm up and begin to roll out your right wrist as your chest twists. Exhale, thread the needle, rest your right ear onto the floor. Today, straighten your left arm forward, possibly hold here or extend your right leg back, kickstanding your toes onto the mat. If you're feeling spicy though, you can lift your right heel to elevate its way up towards the ceiling, but I chose to stick with the kickstand in my practice. Either way, feel your left shoulder blade pulling down. Bring your knee and your left hand back to their starting position. Inhale, right arm up, switch it out, and inhale, lift your left arm up for the twist. Roll out your left wrist in both directions, and exhale, thread the needle, slide your left arm behind your right wrist. Today, reach your right arm forward, rest your left ear, temple onto the ground, and if you did so on the other side, extend your left leg back, either kickstanding or lifting your heel up towards the ceiling. Either way, squeeze your inner thighs in tight, 
Keep putting some pressure down into your right shin and brace your body with your right palm onto the floor. Drop your left knee down, bring your right hand back to the starting position. Inhale, easy twist, left arm up. Exhale, tabletop. Now straighten your right leg back behind you, cross it behind your left quad, and look over your left shoulder. Kickstand your right toes on the floor off your mat, and hopefully you're feeling a nice stretch running along the right side of your low back. Bring your right knee back to its original position, Extend your left leg out, then cross behind your right hamstring and look over your right shoulder. Still keep squeezing your forearms together. Hug your inner thighs in tight. Again, hopefully you're feeling this in the left side of your low back. If not, take it up with my attorney. Yeah, take that. Come back into your tabletop. Walk your hands another palm print in front of you and exhale downward facing dog. We'll just get started with a little pedal out of your legs. So bending your knees one at a time and then we're gonna linger in that. So from your static down dog, swing your heels all the way to the left, pointing your toes to the right side of the room. Come back to center and swivel so that all 10 toes, hopefully, are facing the left side of your mat, your heels to the right. Come back to your neutral down dog position. Hunker down into your fingers and exhale, rag doll. Walk your feet behind your wrists, bend your knees, grab for opposite elbows to get started and rock your chest heavily right and left. To get a little extra today, cup your hands behind your ankle or calf area. Now feel your forearms pushing into your calves, your calves pressing into your forearms and any amount straighten your legs. Look back to the wall behind you and let your head still hang heavy. Lower your hands to the floor, toe heel your feet together, bend your knees a bit and roll on up to a standing position. When you get to the top, circle shrug, your shoulders down. If it feels comfortable today, hands to your heart. If it feels a little more grounding, close your eyes. Take a moment, focus on your intention. Remember, it doesn't matter how much time you have to practice, what matters is that you're here. Inhale, lift your arms up and overhead, mountain pose. Anchor down into your feet and stretch up long through your fingertips. Breathe in. And exhale, start to side bend to the right. So dropping your right arm up against your outer right thigh today. Relax your left shoulder down and look up any amount towards your left fingertips. Inhale, lift back up, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the left. So palm onto your outer left thigh, hip area. Soften down through your right shoulder and feel your right temple pulling up towards the ceiling. Inhale, mountain, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold, glide your hands through your heart. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your palms onto the mat. Step or jump your legs back, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your knees, open your chest. Exhale, down dog. All right, we're gonna jazz it up everybody for this next sun A, inhale. And exhale, forward fold to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, tabletop your back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain, squeeze your legs, lift up. Here's where we change. Exhale, open arm twist. So right arm goes back, left arm goes forward, aiming for your wrists to stay in line with your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And also, hopefully your hips are staying forward and in line with each other. Here's the thing though, if you have any low back issues, let your right hip drift back. Inhale, mountain, come on up. Exhale, open arm twist, left arm back. So same alignment, wrists in line with shoulders. This side might be different though. Maybe your left hip does need to pivot back a little bit, but aim for both hip flexors, the front of your feet to stay forward. Inhale, mountain, come all the way up. Little baby back bend, just look up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, slide your head down. Inhale, halfway lift, tabletop your back. Exhale, chaturanga. Remember, you can skip these, do a double push-up, drop down to your knees. You do you, boo. You a do a you. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, and we'll link both variations, both flows together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, mountain squeeze your legs, lift up. Exhale, side bend to the right, right arm by your right thigh. Inhale, lift right back up. Exhale, side bend, drop over to the left, core in tight. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, open arm twist, right arm threads backwards. Inhale, mountain, hips stay forward. Exhale, twist, turn your chest to the left. Inhale, mountain, look up at your hands, tiny little baby back bend. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips, lower down. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze over an imaginary cliff. Exhale, chaturanga. Squeeze your forearms together. Inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, down dog. Alrighty, let's get settled in with some core work. Grab your block if you have one. If not, not a big deal. If you wanna use a pillow or something along those lines, cool. And if you're like, I don't have any of those things handy, don't worry about it. We'll start with what's called a pass the block, but again, pretend you just have one. So place the block between your ankles, reach your arms up and overhead, inhale, lower your legs any amount down to the floor, exhale, fold yourself back to center and pass the block to your hands. Inhale, arms and legs straighten. Exhale, start to pass the block. So keep going, arms and legs stay straight. You're just shifting them away from each other like you're taking a good morning stretch. Here's the real hard part though. When you're dropping your legs, notice if your low back arches even a little bit off the floor. So be in control, deliberate with your movement, keep pushing your low back down to the floor and no need to drop your legs really far. You'll get better results in your core if you don't arch your low back. Good. Alrighty team, let's do just a couple more passes with the block. Flex your feet the whole time like you've got your favorite food balancing on them. Almost done. Now here's the thing, if your neck is starting to hurt, create a basket grip at the nape of your neck. You have two more full passes. As you're doing this though, imagine that the block is still between your ankles every time you are moving your legs. Feeling your inner thighs ignite, your low belly smushing down towards the floor, and that strength into your shoulders as you're passing through. Complete this last pass and release. All right, eagle crunches with the block today. Place the block longwise between your thighs. Eagle legs, right ankle on top, right elbow underneath. Keep your low back flat. Inhale, bring your arms and legs away from each other. Exhale, squeeze into a little ball. Inhale, arms and legs stretch away. Exhale, squeeze in. Now keep going. When you're straightening out your legs though, if you feel your low back arching, please back out of this a little bit. You want the muscles to get stronger. You don't want muscles that shouldn't be working to be working. If this feels like a lot on your neck and shoulders, switch to a basket grip with your hands and you can point your elbows towards the front. Last full set here, extend out, squeeze in, lower down a really quick stretch just to give your body a break and then take the block again between your thighs, eagle legs, left heel over your right ankle, left elbow underneath, high five or a bear hug, inhale, straighten out, exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, arms and legs shift away. Exhale, pull back into center. Again, if you need a basket grip around the nape of your neck at any point, go ahead. But firm your thighs in tight around that block. Keep pushing your shoulders down and away from your ears. Your elbows can point forward if you're in the basket grip, just to have it still feel like you're an eagle with your shoulders. Take two more full sets here. Grip with the exhale. Lengthen with your inhale, finish out, squeeze, 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 and release. Good, 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 everybody. Alrighty, bring your knees into your chest. Let's get into your external obliques. Roll onto your right hip like you're basically in fetal pose, but with your chest facing the ceiling. Exhale, lift and crunch. So hands around the nape of your neck again. Exhale, lift. Basically trying to target into your love handle. So hips stay stacked one upon the other. And even though you don't have a block between your thighs, still feel like it's there. Tighten in, last two. Crunch and lift, belly button stays nice and tight. Last one, pull up, 
Lower your head and shoulders. Roll onto your left hip. Jatada crunches. Other side. Hips line up. Chest up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale, lift and crunch. Work your abdominal wall to keep pulling back into your low spine as well. Hips are big bones, so squeeze your glutes, squeeze your inner thighs, keep your hips stable in order to really target your external obliques. Last three, gaze up towards the ceiling. Final two. Good, last one, finish out and release. Take a good morning stretch if that feels good for you. Now a couple options for your transition. You can rock and roll up to chair pose or rock up to a seat, swing your legs back behind you and then stand up and come into your chair pose. Either way, meet me in chair. So sit down, heels and knees line up with each other, low back nice and flat. Lift your arms any amount, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, slide down your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch out your back. Exhale, chaturanga, step or hop back. Grip your fingers into the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog, point your toes. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, send your right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge, take a second. Ground into your standing foot. Inhale, crescent, lift your arms up and overhead. Back heel over the ball mound of your foot. Squeeze your belly in tight, take a long breath in. Exhale, eagle arms, wrap your left elbow underneath your right, high five your hands or grab for your shoulders. Inhale, eagle arm back bend, keep your lunge. Feel your ribs pulling up from your hips, breath in. Exhale, humble eagle, round your spine, turn the front of your left hip though to continue to face the floor instead of letting it roll open towards the side. Big transition, but you guys can do this. Inhale, extended side angle. So unwrap your arms, keep the lunge into your front leg, pull your shoulder blades together, look up. Exhale, triangle, simply straighten your front leg. I don't know why that's such a big transition, but it's a big transition. Spin the top of your left hip to pivot back to the wall behind you and feel that extra bit of lift of your right ribs pulling up from your thigh. Inhale, reverse warrior, go right back into the lunge. Push your left inner thigh downward towards your right heel. Feel your left torso muscles squeezing into your rib cage. Exhale, chaturanga, windmill your arms down to the floor. Hinge forward, inhale, upward facing dog, push the ground away. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, a little up dog in your chest. Inhale, crescent, high lunge, lift your arms up. Aim for your arms to be in line with your ears roughly. Squeeze your inner thighs in tight, push down into your front heel, breathe in. Exhale, eagle arms, right elbow will thread underneath your left, high five or your bear hug, keep the lunge. Inhale, eagle arm back bend, pull your chin and chest up towards the ceiling. Sink into your front knee, stabilize with your back leg, breathe in. Exhale, humble eagle, round your spine, tuck your chin in, aim for your fingertips to creep a little bit closer towards the floor. Front foot stays, inhale, extended side angle. So untwist your arms, pivot your right toes to the right long side of your mat, and use your left inner thigh to scoop your torso closer towards the right. Exhale, triangle, straighten your front leg, but still keeping a baby bend into your left knee. Pivot your left armpit more towards the right long side of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior, get right back into your lunge. Sink your right inner thigh down towards your left heel. Breathe and reach all the way up through your side body. Exhale, chaturanga, twist down, lower, squeeze in. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll your chin up. Exhale, down dog. Let's do this. Inhale, look forward and exhale, travel to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair, push deep into your sits bones. Exhale, forward fold, straighten your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, belly tight. Exhale, chaturanga, hinge forward, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge, travel your foot in. 
push into your front heel inhale crescent arms up exhale eagle arms left elbow under inhale back bend lift your chin up exhale humble eagle square your left hip flexor to face the floor inhale extended side angle twist and open up exhale triangle straighten your front knee inhale reverse warrior lunge into your right leg lift up exhale twist down chaturanga dandasana feel your chest keep pushing forward even as you're lowering down inhale upward facing exhale down dog inhale extend your left leg up exhale low lunge squeeze your thighs inhale crescent reach forward then up exhale eagle arms right elbow underneath inhale back bend squeeze your belly exhale humble eagle round your spine and shoulders inhale extended side angle twist open exhale triangle inhale reverse warrior get back into your lunge exhale chaturanga Notice if your forehead gets down to the mat faster than the rest of your body, stay in line with yourself. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, squeezing your core. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair, deepest one, get in there. Exhale, forward fold, straighten and lower down inhale halfway lift push into your legs with your hands exhale chaturanga palms down lower inhale upward facing exhale down dog inhale shoot your right leg up towards the ceiling exhale low lunge belly in inhale crescent reach all the way up through your fingers exhale eagle arms left elbow under inhale back bend keep the lunge exhale humble eagle tuck your chin to your chest inhale extended side angle pivot through your toes exhale triangle inhale reverse warrior push your right ribs to the top exhale chaturanga twist lower keep your core in tight inhale upward facing dog last time exhale down dog inhale get your left leg high exhale low lunge inhale crescent burst up lift big exhale eagle arms right elbow under inhale back bend exhale a humble eagle push your left sits bone back inhale extended side angle pivot your back toes exhale triangle inhale reverse warrior keep the lunge reach back exhale twist down chaturanga neck nice and long inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog okie dokie team take a seat grab your two blocks again if you don't have two blocks don't worry about it i'm going to turn and face you and we're going to play with rooster pose sometimes called balancing scale it all just depends on like where did you learn it from so either starting in sukhasana or crisscross applesauce cool place your hands onto the floor by your hips or onto your blocks the full expression though is from a lotus. So the pinky toe side of your right foot into your left hip flexor. Your left ankle can start into your inner right thigh knee area or all the way up into your right hip flexor. Hands are blocks by your hips. Breathe out and exhale, lift your hips off the floor. And it really can just be that. You can use your knees onto the floor just to help get your hips to pitch up. Squeeze your shoulders down and then lower down. All right, start to switch out the cross of your legs. So left pinky toe side into your right hip flexor, right into the left hip flexor, or the opposite cross of your Sukhasana. Hands to blocks, breathe in. Exhale, press up rooster pose. So feeling each muscle in your lower half trying to pull up towards the crown of your head. Take one more round to play with this. Lower down, relax your legs, roll out your wrists in both directions. Sometimes it feels good though to place the tops of your hands into your ribs and massage out there. But either way, great job. And now if you were able to do rooster press, cool, you have a new party trick to bust out. Start with your legs out in front of you. We'll just meet in Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale with straight legs, hinge forward. Grab a hold of your hamstrings, calves, or maybe your feet. Feel your bottom ribs trying to stretch further up and away from your hips. Let gravity start to sink your chest down towards your shins. 
Your exhales are here to help encourage you to sink a little bit deeper. Take one more round of breath here. Inhale, lift back up. Bring the soles of your feet together to touch and exhale, Baddha Konasana. Start to hinge your chest forward. There are a few options here. Again, you could double up your blocks and give your forehead something to rest on. Over time, your forehead may touch down towards your feet. You can also use your elbows to the inside of your knee thigh area just to help encourage your outer knees to get closer to the floor. If you feel your sits bones are kind of popping off the mat though, continue to anchor down both sits bones deep into the mat. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, twist to the right. So legs stay in the same position. Left hand to your right knee and your right hand tense up behind you or place your right hand into your inner left thigh and help roll your inner left thigh up towards the ceiling. Either way, open across your chest. Look any amount over your shoulder. Inhale back to center and exhale. Take the rotation over towards the left. Option again for your left hand to go into your right inner thigh area. But imagine I'm trying to tug your left collarbone back to the wall behind you and I'm using my other hand to help push your right shoulder over towards the wall that you're looking at. Inhale back to center. Scooch forward and exhale, begin to lower down onto your back. Take a moment, actually get comfortable. Work out any last little wiggles or fidgets. And as soon as your body has found its resting position, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Remember your yoga is more than just the physical practice. It is also the space to reconnect with yourself, with your breath and your energy. Begin to wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Rock your chin from shoulder to shoulder. Bigger movements into your body until you are ready to reach your arms up and overhead. Roll to whichever side feels most comfortable for you. When you are fully ready to get back into your day, press yourself up to a seat. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in, exhale, bow forward. Remember you're the one that created this feeling that you have right now, so you can tap into it whenever you need. Beautiful job, everybody. Namaste. Love you. Awesome job, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed today's class. Got your vinyasa in. Now go into the rest of your day. Make sure to check out my website. Check out my other videos. My website is hotmessyoga.life. H-A-W-T messyoga.life. See you guys soon. Book your classes. See you guys soon.